Welcome back. Welcome back. Episode seven. Episode seven? Yes, sir. Episode seven. Yes. We made it. We made it. <laughs> it's your boy Paradox. And I'm Blanco Pro. And this is nothing to fear. Up there. Episode ten. Seven, man. We've come a long ten. way, man. Going ten. Coming a long way, man. How are you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed and highly favored, man. How you doing? Ain't into that. I'm great. I'm in great health. I'm giving thanks, man. Every day. Every day. What you been up to? Working and having fun. How's the shop? What I'm doing? Doing tremendously. Busy? Busy, busy. busy. Always busy. Now, I know during the holidays, a lot of you get, you get pressed. You get pressed. Like Easter just passed. I know you got pressed, right? Oh, yeah, I stay busy. All the time. All the time. Whether the holidays. Thank God for that. You like the mailman. It doesn't matter. My holidays is. Every day. Let's get a round of applause for that. We got the round of applause. For Every day. That's what's up. Yeah, and I've been grinding, man. I've been, okay. been grinding all the week. What you working on, what? Blanco? What you working on, man? Always. A bunch of stuff. Always working and um, having fun because it's love. How's, the, how's the video? 21 guns? Oh. Um, last time I checked it on YouTube, it was 30K. Woo! Another round of applause oh. for that. Let's go. Well, thank you, guys. Thank okay, you guys. Man. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate that. That's what's up. Yeah. Nothing to fear, fans. Nothing to fear, universe. Yes, keep sir. it going. Let's keep the lights. Keep playing it. Let's keep it going, man. Keep pressing that button. And subscribe. Keep sharing it. Keep coming. And what's good with you, man? How you been? Man, I've been great, man. Great. Uh, matter of fact, I had a nice little weekend this weekend. I spent some time with some family. Great. Some cousins were all beat that. Uh, we did a little game night action. It was great. Nothing beat that. Nah, it's amazing. Amazing. Part of the time. Yeah, I got to host them, so it was cool to have them all over. It's always good to create memories, brother. Yeah, man. It's been a it's been one of those weeks, man. A lot of trying to trying to show some love. Yes, sir. Because this week has been it's been a war out here. <laughs> The world has been yeah. at war. It was a busy, 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 busy week. A lot of stuff. Now, when we talk about the world, I'm primarily talking about <laughs> the sports world. Yes, sir. It's been crazy. Mm -hmm. Are you are you staying in the loop? You guys keep watching this? We hear from you guys. It's finally over. March Madness is officially over. Done. Done -zo. Um, We had the final four this past weekend. Mm -hmm. Uh. On the girls' side, we had a North Carolina State versus South Carolina. Did you watch that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What'd you think? Great game. Nothing in South Carolina. Yep, I predicted that. South Carolina yeah. laid the smacketh down mm -hmm. on uh, North Carolina State. On the other side, we, we have, have Iowa and UConn. That's my squad. Woo! What you Caitlin, take in that game, though? Caitlin Talk to me. Clark, big. Game. Page Breckers, Bukers. Bre big. Big game. Games. What's oh, man. Great game. Got down to the wire. Uh, if you guys didn't see the game, the yeah. game was really close. Uh, I believe UConn was down by one. Yes. Uh, nine seconds left on the clock. They got the ball. Uh, they run a play. The play is to get Page open on a curl coming off a pick. As the defender passes through the pick. Mm hmm. Moving screen, whistle blows, violation, offensive foul. Very controversial. So UConn never gets to put up a shot. And Iowa has the ball with, with the lead. With the lead. A couple seconds left. Over. What's so, Caitlin dropped 41 that game. Oh. She was on fire. <laughs> Give her a round of applause for sure. She was on fire. Shot. Blazed the place yes, up. Yes, sir. Um, mm -hmm. You can't, uh, can't play tough. It was a close game. They, uh, um, one thing to take in consideration, they didn't have their full squad. No. And some, some major centers, um, major uh, starters. Major out. starters was out. Three, I believe. Yep. But uh, UConn got sent home. Mm -hmm. The coach I was furious. Gino, furious. Paige was upset. And the question was, and this is the question we're going to talk about right now, uh, should – a ref have made an offensive or a moving screen call with seven seconds left. Offensive foul. 
when they are down by two. Do you wish they would have held the whistle, or do you think you should make the call? <laughs> I wish they had held the whistle. Let them play. Ooh. I think they should have let them play. Now, do you think it was a foul? No. Not in my book. Not to how no. I, see. I saw it. No foul? No. I, Just basketball. Foul. Just basketball. Just contact. College basketball. College basketball is contact. Yeah. Give everybody a spare chance. Okay. Okay. That's my, that's my thing. Give everybody now, a chance, man. Now, you are on record on the show as being a UConn yeah, fan. Yeah, so, yeah, is there a little bias? A little, a little, a little? No. And congratulations for you. You make a call. Iowa State had one. Ooh, I knew it. But, uh, I knew it. I yeah, knew it. I knew it. Okay. So, here we go. Goes to the final. The finals on Sunday. South Carolina. Forward. Iowa. Rematch from last year. Last year, mm-hmm. Iowa sent South Carolina home, and it and ended their undefeated streak. Mm-hmm. Big time. Different story this year. Different. <laughs> Different story. What was your take on the game? Great game. Great game, man. Yeah, that, 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 that South Carolina team, yeah, they're unbeatable. Well, this year they, they're perfect. This year, definitely were. Yeah, and I got to shout out to the coach, man. Like, I got to highlight her. She's a, she's a great person. From what I'm seeing, yeah, I respect her a lot. I think it was really cool to see after the game when uh, South Carolina secured the win, the way they celebrated, man. They felt like a family out there. Yeah. Dawn Staley, mm-hmm. she's, she's bent over crying. I mean, it was so emotional. You had, um, you had former players who were at the game, they were all celebrating as if they won. I mean, it, it felt like a community that you would want to be a part of. Um, definitely, man. Wouldn't Why wouldn't you be? You know what I mean? I watched the game. I, had, I, I really enjoyed the game, too. And Iowa had nothing for South Carolina. Ooh. Nothing. Um, shout out to Caitlin. Did the thing. Right? She did the thing. Uh, one thing I liked, I liked when Caitlin was at the podium after the game, she said, she's like, hey, uh, one of their players had 17 rebounds. <laughs> <laughs> she said, our <laughs> whole team had 29 <laughs> rebounds. There's she's no like, way. There's no way we could have beat them. We could have beat them. That's We'd it. have to shoot perfectly. Mm-hmm. And that's just not basketball. They have the defense, man. Oh, they, man. Have that. they have that. They were they, they started everything. throwing everything at her. Dawn, yeah. she made the coach coach Staley. She she made some adjustments in the second half, and they came out balling. Balling. Let me just talk about Staley for a second. First coach ever to be player of the year and coach of the year. First one ever. And I think going forward, we should see a trend of more former players coming back to coach because really and truly, the coaching job has been held hostage too long by non-players. They should have more players. Coach. That's, that should be the, that that's should be the succession the, plan. Yeah. You play till you can't play anymore, and then when you can't play anymore, you share and you give it back by coaching. But anyway, she's an awesome coach. In the last three years, her record is 109 and three. That's she lost three games out of the last 112 games. Great accomplishment. Undefeated, Undefeated season. season. She's got three championships. She's one of mm-hmm. five coaches to have more to have three championships or more. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can't say more. We can't say enough about it. There's, there's not much you could say anymore. Another round of applause for Another Coach. Another round of Let's get it going. Steve. Let's get it going for Coach. Man. Yeah. Not only that, she she keep um, celebrating art and skill, and she shout out Caitlin like she you know, she gave a she gave her. A, Big time a rating, yeah. Ratings, bro. So, gotta give it time. to keep it up. So that was the girl side. It was exciting. A lot of viewers. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of notoriety for the women. Yep. Caitlin's going to the WNBA. Mm-hmm. Uh, Reese is going. Angel Reese is going to the WNBA. Uh, there are a few more of them that are going to the W. Some of them are staying. Paige is staying. Mm-hmm. I think Cameron's staying. I know Juju Watkins is a as a freshman. She's staying. So mm-hmm. a lot to look forward to next year. One thing I want you to know is that UConn is a sleeper for next My sleeper for next year. UConn has three starters that were out this year. They made it to the Final Four. But those three starters are coming back, and it's already been documented that they have secured the number one high school pick, and she's committed to UConn next year. So it's going down, down. next year. 
Yes, sir. So let's switch to the male side now. Like, okay. Do you, I know you was watching it. I was watching it. I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna lie. I was a little less enthusiastic, but yeah, I watched it. You can was on top for most of the game. Like, so let's yeah. talk Final Four. Let's go Final Four. It was. It was Alabama and UConn. Um, Final Four. Final Four it was Alabama and UConn on one side. Yeah, and then it was Purdue and NC State. That was that was North Carolina five State. Hours. Yes, five hours, right? Yeah, the Final Four. Yeah, right? yeah Final Four. Yes. Purdue beat NC State. Um, you had UConn beating Alabama. Alabama. We have the big Zach versus the UConn squad, who's been averaging. A 10-point margin of victory during the tournament. That's what they do. They're back. They're back. They're never, they're never away for long. The nah. UConn, that's their, their territory right there. That's I know you were really excited about this, yeah. this, this game that happened last night. Of course, I was very excited last night. because I called it. And, and, and so what do you think? Tell me, tell me about the game. What you got? Oh, boy. Um, I don't think um, they have an answer for UConn. The, the kid named Trenton Newton. Serious? Balling. Serious business? Serious business. You take it to them, man. Like, I, I really, really enjoy the game because I'm a UConn fan. You know, on your side, I know you're not going to enjoy it too much because they were down most of the game. Who, Purdue? Yeah. Eh, not a, eh, you know, I wasn't moved. I wasn't, I really, really wasn't moved, but I was interested in watching them. I yeah, wanted to see Zach. You know I wanted why to see didn't move? Was. Why didn't move is because the female was more enthusiastic. It was. It was, it was a lot more. Season. A lot more action. A lot more going action on. with the, the females. But you know, I get I get my grant, and I, I'm I'm pretty much happy. And that. you know how it is. It's always good to have some parity in the league, but you need a superstar. You need a star that's just really gonna. It's gonna draw everybody in. It's just gonna pull. And that was Caitlin. She, oh, she, she she did it. She, she did, did it. it. Uh, we didn't have that and, on the and guys. Don't forget side. Uh, Reese. Reese. Reese was there too. Reese was there. Yeah, Reese, Reese was there. Was doing she thing. was doing more of the antics. Yeah. I think more of her personality. Every, we say that everything her works. So once it works, it's, it's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Speaking of Reese, did you see that they they giving her credit for starting the trend of wearing the leg sleeve? Yeah. I saw LeBron in the leg sleeve. <laughs> when he was working out in the leg sleeve. Word. Yeah. Video and they have videos of LeBron in the leg sleeve. So Paper. I just want to know. This is the this is the Angel Reese influence. Yeah, we that's the Angel in her. Reese influence, and that's a good thing. Shout out to Angel Reese for that. You know what I mean? Well, let's get back to the Makes guys. To let's get back to the guys. Let's get back to the guys because I don't want to be I don't want to be biased. I don't want to be unfair. Facts. Spending more time on the ladies. Yeah. I mean, we spend more time, but no, no, no. I mean, no. always do though. No. Always spend more time on the ladies. So, so. we do. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we do. Automatically. But so, got, so you got UConn got the win. How you feel about that? I'm feeling I'm feeling great. UConn is back. You know what I mean? It's just that we need, it wasn't that competitive, as you say, but it's my squad, so. Yeah, the game wasn't good. It was a blowout. It was, it was a blowout. Second half, it just got ugly. And uh, I didn't watch that much of the, much and the, of the, 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 the What's the guy named? Kibe? He scored almost all the points for Purdue. Oh, man, yeah. He was just a machine. 37 points. He was a machine. <sighs> Seven points in a, in a losing effort, though. So thirty-seven from six to five. So we got to give props. Give props. To you. Let's give a, a round of applause for UConn. Yeah. Congrats, two-time back-to-back championship. championship. That, there's nothing new to them. That's what they do. But that wasn't the only news. A lot of fallout after these championships are over. So now Ooh. that we have, now that we have a a winner, we have a champion on the guys and the, and the girls. Right. Big news. Calipari. Big news. Calipari walk away. Bye bye, Kentucky. Left the University of Kentucky, UK, the blue and white. Yep. I spent some time at Cincinnati, University of Kentucky. They're serious about. He won some championship too. They're serious about Kentucky. Yeah. Um, but the best part about that story, I, I like the, this is the part I like is that he didn't just leave, <laughs> he left and he went to Arkansas. Right there, right there in the conference, he's gonna be battling Kentucky at least twice a year. It's gonna be awesome, and they they're gonna hate him. They're gonna hate him, and these are college kids, so you know, the the rival be rivalry will be real. It'll be exciting, and that'll bring us back next year. We need that. We need some of that good old fashioned competitive, some 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 animosity. Um, Kalapari, make sure he's taking his own hand as he's choosing his own fate. So. 
Why not? Right. Why not? There are a lot of people who would like to say that, oh, man, how could you, how what do you leave that? Kentucky? <laughs> he had to do what's best for him. You know what I mean? how, how do you go to a team in the conference? Uh, he knows what's best for him. I look at it like this. It's the same thing we were talking about with Barkley and the Eagles. So. And the, in the, the, the words of the late, great Bernie Mac. Mm-hmm. You better get yours, cause I'm gonna get mine. <laughs> That's it. And hey, he got yeah. his, man. Yeah, you know, he got his. His situation in Kentucky, I feel like it was. Uh, I don't think they should be mad at him. They should be more celebrating of him because he, he's there for a while. He was there, yeah. But you know how it is. Got to know when to step. Breaking up is hard to do. Very hard to do. So. And the breaking up is 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 like taunting too because he go to the same so. It'll be rough. It's gonna, gonna be, be rough. rough. I'll be I'll be tuning I'll be, in. I'll be tuning in when Calipari comes. It's gonna back. be very interested next season. Let's I'll be see. checking that out. Yeah, man. All the best to you, Calipari. Good Watch luck. you over the years. Good luck, man. I see you have some great NBA players in the league. So. Oh yeah, quite a few. Up to you, man. Yes, um, sir. Another coach. So. Another coach. Uh, in the news. I'm about to hit you with the fast break switch, right? Another coach that was in the news. Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers is in the news because when he got the Bucks, the Bucks were in second place in the East. <laughs> so why is he in the news? Tell me. He's in the you, news you now. Drink, because you bring it up because I, I'm Bucks, on something to uh, bounce off the that. The Bucks have been losing a lot of games. <laughs> and Doc was brought in so they could increase their defense because for some reason the coach was there. I don't even remember his name. I think it was Adrian. But – the coach was there before Doc. They said he wasn't playing enough defense. So they get rid of him, fire this dude with a winning record, second in the East. They fire him, bring in Doc, and now Doc. They have a losing, losing record. I, 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 I'm going to be very serious and be very upfront with this one. Like, Doc should have just keep commentating. Ooh. Like, I, I said it. Off camera, I'm gonna say it on camera. I respect Dak. I respect what he bring to the game. I respect what he have done to the game, but I don't think he should have taken that job. He should have looked at the situation and denied that job because his history. He's a great coach, but it's not good. So why why not take the job? I don't I don't see what you're saying. Why why shouldn't he have taken the job? Doc, Doc is a little bit overrated. <laughs> he yeah. just said he was a great coach. And, uh, but he's a <laughs> I'm I'm saying it like it is though. Like he, he's a great he, he have a built great, him up to, just, a, he, to knock him down. That's what you gotta do. You gotta be <laughs> frank with it because he's a he's do what he do in the league already, and I think it's that's it for him. Like that's it, Doc. All respect due to you, but I'm not a big fan of you going to Milwaukee Bucks because that guy was he had a ring record. I don't know what went over there behind closed doors, but it's a, it's not a good look. And I know <laughs> Doc's on the hot seat. He had he's to hot- he called a meeting, one he's never done. He's called a film meeting with his players so he could bring them in and everybody can get together, watch the film, and now they can they can discuss what they think's wrong with the team. Now I was shocked to find out that they don't do that anymore. I thought that that was part of every practice. I thought it was like football where they watch film after every, every game. game. But, but Dak already called it from early on when he just started coaching. He was like, I didn't know that it was going to be so hard. Like, he already called it quits. But, I mean, he came in in the middle of the season. So, I, I can see why he, it'd be hard trying to catch up to everything that's moving. But Come you on, got bro. Giannis. You've got Damian, Damian Lillard, Lillard. You've got, what's the, what's the uh, Middleton. Middleton. You've got... Got a squad. You got a squad. This is what you wanted. So do something with it. But dog. my take, though, in the first place, my take on the box with that trade, I have a different take on that trade because they let go somebody that they should have keep. I know a lot of people say that Megatron is a is a more bigger player than 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 Holiday, but I think that that should be the trade right there. They should have keep Holiday and trade Middleton, and then. Have Damian Lillard doing more of knowing the position that he's gonna play to make the team better. You understand what I'm saying? Because they don't play defense like they used to. It looks like they're missing Holiday. They're missing they're, Drew Holiday. They're missing Drew Holiday. 
But you know where Drew Holiday is? Oh, he's on the number one team in the East. Oh, my goodness. He's on the number one team. And his name is all over that team. In the, in the last month, the Celtics. Well, first of all, we're, we're about to hit the playoffs. We've got everybody's, yep. everybody's fighting for playoff position. Mm-hmm. Everybody's trying to get in. we got teams in the plan. we got some stuff we want to talk about about that. Definitely. But the Celtics are so far ahead of everyone everybody else in the league. Mm-hmm. In the last month, they have beaten – Golden State Warriors. They're beating all the top teams. Just for just the, the, the Suns twice. They beat they've beaten Denver. Denver. They beat OKC. They, they beat the Lakers. They beat the Bucks. They beat they beat the Warriors. So I mean They're beating all the top teams. The top. You bring you bring your best and they are knocking them out the park. So Drew Holiday is a big part of that. They got his name is all over it. Big part of that. Um Celtics look tough. I don't know what's going to happen with them, but I'll be very surprised to see somebody <laughs> knock them out. I, if they don't make it to the Eastern Conference Final, I would just be very, very surprised. If but This all depends on health, right? All these teams have to stay healthy. One injury can change anything, but whoa. Talking about that, do you see the West? Um, the, all the playing teams that's over there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everybody's at the bottom. Do you see that? Everybody's bunched up right around Everybody. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Everybody's bunched up, and it's like two games ahead of each other's. It's because he's going to be, like, the showcase before the playoff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your boy's down at the bottom. Watch that. <laughs> your boy, uh, your boy Brownie's down at the bottom. Yeah. I got I got Brownie. I got Brownie, bro. You got him, but will the playoffs have Brownie? Brownie got the playoffs. Ooh, Brownie. Brownie got the playoff. I'm going to look in the camera and say he won't. That. He won't make it past the second round. That's what you say? You heard it here first, folks. Brown won't make it past the second round. And you heard it here, folks. Brown making it to the conference final. I have a very crisp twenty dollars that says he will not. Let's shake this. I'm going for that. Brown making it straight to the conference final. Hey, if you see, y'all gonna have to hold him accountable. And make sure he pays me. All right. I'm gonna pay him y'all on watch camera. Him. I'm gonna pay him on camera. I need that. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so you're talking about me paying? Or yeah, what? I want that. I want that. I want that. Yeah, because it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Oh, okay. They play the Warriors tonight. It's a great game. I think it's gonna be a tremendous game. Yeah, it's it doesn't good. matter what seed and how it is. It's the war. It's, it's Curry against LeBron, and you know how that goes. It's gonna be. A, it should be a classic. Mm-hmm. They usually play very tough. If they play, because, you know, there's always that whole load management. But if they play tonight, should be good. Should be good. They're playing. Anything else you – anybody else you want to keep your eye on? Who who do you have winning it right now? The the basketball? Yeah, who you got winning it? What got winning it? Uh, I got – for now, for now, I got – Two teams on each side. Give me two teams. Denver and Boston I got for now. Uh-huh. But what about LeBron? Like I said – we're going to the conference finals. And based on that, you go into the conference finals to meet Denver, and Denver's going to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's proven record that they beat us, but you don't know what the future tells you. I, I, I want to tell you this, though. The Lakers is a playoff team, not a regular season team. Yeah, I agree with that, but they can't beat Denver. Yeah, we, we haven't beaten Denver. Haven't this beaten. season, didn't this season we haven't beat them, right? Have you? I don't think they've beaten Denver since you've been in the shop. <laughs> That's funny. So, during this season, I know if you watch, you watch a game, Lakers and Denver. Yeah, it was wasn't a it was blowout good. situation. It was competitive until when Andrew Davis played. And not only that, we have a lot of injuries. So, I mean, I'm not using it for an excuse. We have. Tremendous amount of injury throughout the whole regular season. It's playoffs, man. Everybody's in. That's why I say Lakers was built for the playoffs. We'll see. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So my teams, got? my teams are Clippers. Huh? I think the Clippers are gonna make some noise. Okay. All right. If if Kawhi plays, they'll make some noise. Clippers and Denver in the conference final. One of those. I think, yeah, I think it'll be Clippers and Denver. If they don't meet before the conference finals, I could see them ending up, depending on the seeding. Um, in the East, 
I think it's going to be Boston. I don't even think it's anybody else. I would like to see Boston Knicks maybe in, in the Eastern Conference Finals. I was ju- I, I was just about to say, but boy, they're missing some players. But everybody's going to be. But the Knicks are missing Randall and and, but they're winning. They're winning, but and that's the team. Playoff that, is a different. But team. that's the team they have now. So it's, it's the team they have. There is no Randall. He's not coming back. Oh, I would I would love to think like that, but it's hard. Uh-huh. I also would like to see. Uh, like to see. I'm interested to see where the Oklahoma City Thunder, who they end up having to play. Because this is the first time we're going to see SGA in the playoffs. And I think this is going to, I think a rivalry is going to be made. First time you're going to see SGA in the playoffs? What are I you think so. No. Oklahoma made the playoffs last year? Of course. Who they, who they lose to? They must have they been lost out. to the Lakers. Wasn't that the play in game? No, they lost to the Lakers last year. I ain't watch it, so watch maybe, it <laughs> so maybe yeah, this year, right. maybe this year I'll watch it because I'm a little boy. That's a that's a that's a that's a really talented young team getting experience. You know, it's gonna be hard to beat them, but the experience of all experiences will get to them. So I'm just saying, and they're gonna gain some experience, and yeah, they'll, they'll be better for it next year. Definitely, uh, definitely. That's the NBA, man. Are we, else? NBA, are we missing man. anything out of the NBA? Are we are we yeah. short? Oh, Westbrook, Westbrook's back. Mm-hmm. Came back. Since he's come back, the Clippers are roaring, even without Kawhi. Keep just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. When the playoffs start, it's a new series. I'm just saying. Hmm. I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just remember that. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. Something else, something, something else happened. Something else happened. Something else happened. Ooh. 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 The, the, you can hear the rumblings in the streets right now. Ooh. The world is... The world's upset, y'all. Some heartbeat. Oh man, the world's upset. The so, world. Two weeks ago, mm-hmm. Kendrick Lamar, mm-hmm. in a feature on a Metro booming song, has some choice words about young, young Aubrey and young <laughs> Jermaine Cole. Um, he said one of his lines, and I'm paraphrasing, but it was. There's no big three. It's just the big me. Hmm. After on a first person shooter a song with Drake and J. Cole, they, they made it clear that they were trying to include him in this hierarchy of the of of hip hop right now. And he made it very clear that he did not believe that all three of them was there. He said, "This is a nah. This is a one seater. <laughs> this is a one seater, and he's only here. And nobody's sitting on my lap. Number one, number one, so, number one. My take on that is that like marketing. You know what I mean? Um, you got to learn how to do that, and that's what he was doing. And he was hoping that you know, J Cole seat as a as a friendly job. What about Drake? Drake." Drake don't take shit lightly. <laughs> he don't play. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, Drake, Drake don't think before he talk. But, boy, I see it. I see it. <sighs> he didn't have to say anything. Well, let, me tell, let, me tell, let me tell the viewers, just in case you didn't know. Two weeks after this big drop from Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole drops an uh, album called Might Delete Later. Mm-hmm. And then the last track, Seven Minute Drill, he fires back, y'all. Yeah, he fires back. But then he he drops it on a Friday. And at a concert on Sunday, he apologizes. He apologizes, recants, and and says he regrets doing the song. Mm -hmm. He couldn't sleep. He was not sleeping well because he did not feel... He felt it was goofy, and I quote, he used the word goofy. He didn't feel a need for that. I, I, I get what he's saying, too, because we're grown people, and if we have to take it down the road where we're going to be disrespectful to each other, I'd rather not take it that way because I have my art. <laughs> that's, that's number one. I'm an I'm a MC. I can do my shit. I don't need rivalry and disrespect people to be on top. And I, I, I ride with that. You take a balls. It take him a big balls to come back and apologize. <laughs> And I respect that a hundred. In this I mean, culture, in this genre, it, to apologize? Yeah, that's been grown, man. That's been grown. 
and be responsible. That, you know? To me, that was the hardest thing he said. Yep. The hardest thing I heard in either one of the songs when he said, I apologize. Apologize. That was hard. I've never seen that happen. That's growing, though. Never seen it happen. So who do you have if that battle was to go up? Uh, I'm, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely on J. Cole's side. Uh, more so than Kendrick. I think they're all good. Like, let, like let, let's be real. First, let me say this. I'm going to just be honest. I get tired of this whole... Why I get tired of the whole the competition sometimes like and I get it the whole genre is built on competition becoming the best MC mm-hmm. but I think sometimes we go so far that we can't coexist mm-hmm. why can't we coexist and this is something I think we can look at other genres and we can say they know how to have legends mm-hmm. coexist and we can't we just feel like our legends they have to compete with each that's, other that's why I think that J Cole take that step which is mega. And it's not easy to do. It's not. Because most people got egos, and Shh. egos is not unleashed, and then shit get wild. Disrespect, start talking about each other's families. And, and that's my point. I just feel like, so, why is it that we are not satisfied with two people just being successful? So now we want to pin them against each other, mm-hmm. right? And now somebody has to win and somebody has Absolute. to lose. And then we're only satisfied when we pin them against each other if they're saying negative things. Negative things. So if they just go on a song together we, we and we both see them both put pen to paper and they try to do their best to outwordsmith each other, we're not satisfied by that. I'm, I'm, I'm both, both selves, but negativity always uh, created more conflict. You know what I mean? Conflict, it's controversy. Good to stay positive and just believe in what you're doing. And I respect J. Cole for the step he make. And I know that's my guy. Yeah, so that's that's my guy. J. Cole is my, I, I listen to Kendrick too, but J. Cole is my guy. You know what I mean? Now, I would be I'd be a fraud if I didn't say as a fan of rap, as a fan of hip hop, do I wanna hear Kendrick and J. Cole? Hell yeah. Do I wanna do I wanna see them both just go ham? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes. But do I want them to talk about each other? In the despicable way? No. Especially when J. Cole even admitted he didn't even believe the things he was saying. He was just saying because he knew that people and his fans and the industry wanted it. They wanted it. But he didn't even feel it. Do I really? So let me ask you guys who are watching at home, all these true hip-hop fans, does it matter if the artist isn't speaking genuinely? Would you prefer that they go to battle and they really don't have anything to battle about? Or would you prefer that they just genuine and say, hey, this is not in my spirit, and it's just really about trying to out... Let's talk about it a little bit in the comment section. Let's see what you guys think, and... Let us know. Let us know. And I'd rather that, though. Please. So, what else? Man, that was big. I think What we have. That's big. That was big. The J. Cole thing was big. I've been talking about this for like the last three days. Yeah. Do you have anything to tell the people today? Man. Oh. To you the people. Anything you want to share with them? Oh, got some got some bad news, people. Uh, Paradox is taking a little break. Gotta take a break from the podcast. I'm gonna be very sad uh, for man. that. I'm gonna miss you, my brother. I'm gonna miss you too, man. Yeah, man. Uh definitely gonna miss you, man. So I'll be I'll be gone for a while. Yeah. Uh, a little hiatus of sorts. Yeah. Uh, so you, what you gonna do, man? Well, I got some surprise. I hope it's gonna be a surprise for you people. I'm all, for the next couple of episodes, I'm gonna be rocking by myself. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about myself, more about my journey and what I can bring to the table to change a, a lot of people from thinking negative and you know what I mean. So next couple of episodes, but I have. A surprise for you guys in the next couple of weeks. And guys, got to stay tuned. Look out for that. And I appreciate you a lot. I appreciate you. Oh, man, you know, it's always okay. love, brother. I mean, I sure. hope everything will work out. And I hope <laughs> they get to see you. I'm not getting locked up, y'all. If you ask no, 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 no. I'm not getting locked up. Just going to be gone. Yeah, I hope, I'll, I'll be around. I hope they get to see you here. again. That's it. <laughs> That's right. You know I mean? For real. It's been a good ride. It's yeah, been a good ride. We got it rolling, though. We're rolling now, man. We got it rolling. Big time. Episode 7. Remember, subscribe and tell a friend to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. Yeah. We, right here. Next couple of weeks, we're going to talk more of fear. Going to break it down? You're going to break it down. 
for the next couple of weeks, one and one, until I have my surprise. Big surprise. Uh, big surprise. Now, now yeah. don't you have something you want to share with the people? Yeah. Yeah. Um, my, I know a couple of you guys probably tap in with my movements, my social media movements, and I have this new product that I, I put together. I had a chemist put it together, and it's working. It's it's a great product. It's my beard and hair serum, and I debuted it on the um on my website, but I'm all the stock right now. So look for big things coming from that. You know what I mean, so what is the serum? Yeah. Well, first of all, why you why did you invest your time and money to a chemist to get this serum going? It's only right. I've been cutting here for over two decades professionally and um, seeing all the different type of hair and seeing all the people that very frustrated with losing their hair and and they hear losing their hair is like losing confidence, you know what I mean? So I was like, I have to put something together. I, had, I thought about it. I was sitting on it for a month and then I was like, boom! I get up one day and I was like, yeah, this is it. So I, I went in the dark and put it together research and find a chemist and everything else is history. I have a lot of confession. I have a lot of a lot a lot of results that I want to share with you guys. And it's a great product. I'm looking for great, great What things. does it do? It it grow your hair mm -hmm. and it strengthens and mm. increases density. Now and who doesn't need that? And you have a great aroma, very earthy smell. You know what I mean? Most of the feedback I get from the the clientele partner, female, is like, yo, I love the smell. I mean, I want the female love it. Everything else is history. You know that. Hmm. That's the fact. So it's all the start right now. It's on the website. Okay. 4kcuts.com. Cut to the Z. You guys could go up there and look at it. I mean, and whoever bought that product, go up there and leave me a, a review. Drop a testimonial. Drop, drop yeah. a testimonial. Be honest. Let them know. It's a buck. Let them know. How these things work, because I, I have a whole metaphor of how to break it down to make it work. So it's a great product. Awesome. I mean, I'm feeling very good about it. Hey man, we're, we'll be watching, mm -hmm. we'll be waiting, yes, and we'll be checking that website, mm -hmm. and we'll be leaving comments. I'm gonna be watching, leaving comments. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate that. I think that's it for for the for the episode tonight. You think so? Yeah, man. I think we're gonna we're gonna send them off with a smile. We're gonna say goodbye. Signing off. It's your boy Paradox. Yeah. Stay tuned with me on the on my side where it come on to my my records, Blanca Records. Great, great things coming. You know what I mean? Keep watching Twenty One Gun Salute. Keep the number going up. Thank you guys for the support. I'm thirty k viewing on YouTube so far and growing. I'm Let's out. Keep this thing rolling, man. Episode seven. Seven in the books. In the books. Adios. Nice working with you, my brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir.